Town hall meetings are an American tradition that goes all the way back to New England before the Revolution. They're supposed to be a place for Americans to assemble, ask questions, and engage with elected officials. Lately, they seem to have turned into something else. I live here. I work here. Save my health Do your job. Do your job. Hillary Clinton lost by 20 points in Montana. Donald Trump won in a landslide in the state. <laughs> I think some people are clearly upset, but there is a bit of, of professional protester manufactured base in there. What? People being organized to disrupt events? What kind of fake news conspiracy theory is that? Oh wait, there's actually a website, townhallproject.com, organizing people to do it. And here's another website, Resist Recess, that serves the same purpose. All kinds of well-connected Democratic Party-linked organizations with million-dollar budgets are organizing their people to go out and disrupt town hall events, kind of like what the Tea Party did during the early years of Obama. We are America. Law has cut your taxes. Every time you spend looking into this seemingly organic outrage at these town hall meetings, the more clear it is that this isn't organic at all. This is orchestrated outrage. There is a script for this stuff. Oh, so sometimes protests can be organized and scripted. Sure, Freedom Works and all kinds of Republican organizations were spending millions of dollars to disrupt and protest Obama. But these latest liberal disruptions are just a people's uprising from below, according to mainstream media. There are a number of reasons why they're here. A lot of it has to do with Trump's agenda, but it's also to make a point that they are real voters, real people. This is definitely a do-it-yourself grassroots movement. The most massive, incredible, um, um, really unorganized. Unorganized, huh? That's interesting because one of the groups that's been pushing people to protest is called Organizing for America. It's actually one of the only two links on Barack Obama's personal website. There's a group of people who are incapable of accepting the fact that they lost an election and they're looking for other ways to overthrow it. And I believe it's all very highly organized and I think it's done by the same people who helped organize uh, color revolutions overseas. Yes, the folks at the top of American society are not getting along with each other. Sure, Trump's got many friends and supporters, but also many bitter enemies among America's rich and powerful. It seems like mainstream media doesn't treat all protests and mass movements with equal scrutiny. Caleb Moppin, RT, New York.